All right, so one of the more um, mysterious devices in the visible suite is the chain router. It's mysterious in the sense that it's not instantly obvious what it does, um, and once you know what it does, it's actually very powerful and very useful. Um, so to show you how it works, I've got a simple visible set here with a grabber grabbing my webcam, an effect, which in this case is a blur, and the viewer. Um, so what I'm going to do is right click on the title bar of the blur and choose group. And you'll notice that the effects now disabled. And that's because in visible, effects that are in a MIDI effect rack are treated in a special way. And to access them, you actually need to use a chain router. So I'm going to go to mix where the chain router exists. I'm going to drop, drag and drop a chain router in front of my MIDI effect rack. And you notice now the um, video is blurred. So using this slider, I can switch between um, unaffected video and affected video, effectively toggling the effect on and off. I can also use these arrows or use this number box. All right, so that's a MIDI effect rack with one effect in it. But where the chain router actually becomes really useful is when you have multiple chains. So I'm going to click this button here, which shows me the current chains. I'm going to go to effects and I'm going to drag a new effect like a two-toner here where it says drop MIDI effects here. Now this creates a new chain um, and you can see in the chain router it's now selected chain 2. I can go from chain 2 to chain 1 which is my blur to chain 0 which is the effects disabled and that is really in essence what the chain router does. It lets you switch between chains of an chains of effects. For example, if I go back to my two-toner effect, I can um, I can add, say, a kaleidoscope to this, and now this is a two-toner plus a kaleidoscope, this is just a blur, and this is unaffected. There are a couple of other quirks when working with MIDI effect racks. If you select a chain and then click on a preview window in that chain, it'll snap to um, to that chain, like so. And if you click the preview window again, it'll then disable the preview window just like any other preview window in Visible. So that's it. That's what the chain router does. Um, hope that cleared things up for anyone who was a bit confused. Thanks for watching. Have fun.